Hi right, guys, so uh, this video is about the pumpkin Android 8 car stereo for Volkswagens, um, but it probably also fit Seats and Skodas. Uh, pumpkin do make other makes that are specific for Fords, Mazdas, BMWs, Audis. Uh, they've all got the same hardware, just a different buttons, styles and shapes. Um, so yeah, the car's not turned on at the moment. I've left it off because I just wanted to show you the boot time. Uh, so we'll uh, put the key in the ignition, turn it on. Um, United States. There we go. Lord Sugar has said he's very sorry for a tweet That's about the Senegal football team. Booted up more or less straight away. His wife got slaughtered beef vendors in Marbella. The county's boss had initially defended his post, saying people had misinterpreted it. However, he later later retracted that and said he would tend to clear up head back fire. Some British Airways passengers have complained after they yeah, just the turn the uh, turn the sound down. Uh, just put this back to stock. I, I do use a different launcher uh, but this is just on the, the stock settings at the moment uh, this is the, the stock screen stock home screen um, doesn't come with any specific navigation programs apart from Google Maps uh, which obviously you can use and works really well uh, you could download the maps in advance if you if you wanted got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and you can put a 3 or 4G dongle on it or pair it up to your phone using a hotspot. Um, so yeah we'll, we'll go into the radio app first of all. Uh, radio. Now the only drawback with these units is the reception isn't brilliant. The stock Volkswagen radios have a built-in amplifier. This doesn't. Uh, the reception isn't too bad compared to the last one I had, which is a, about five years old. That was that was really bad. And also, I think I'm going to have to reinstall my aerial because there's a little um, amplifier built into the aerial connector, and that needs hooking up to 12 volts. I didn't do that, so I need to go back in the unit out and go up to 12 volts to see if that improves the reception. I also last night um, just got the, uh, the DAB module that plugs into um, a dual USB port that it's just all just loosely put in the glove box at the moment. The wire runs along there and up the A-frame and on the antenna itself is stuck on the glass the only problem with it, my power lead for my dash cam up there also runs up there. I don't think it's the power lead, I think it's just the, the dash cam throws off a fair bit of noise and as soon as I turn the dash cam on, well it turns on automatically actually, it just wipes out the, uh, the DAB reception. So I'm going to have to look at ways around that. I've tried shielding it with um, radiator tape. Um, See if you cut the interference down, but it doesn't seem to have much effect. I might try some ferrite rings clipped onto the USB cable, see if you can clean up the power supply, but um, maybe it's the antenna, or perhaps just that they're, they're too close together, but that's the only way really I could route the antenna, apart from putting it on this side, which would have been a bit in, in my way. Um, so anyway, back to the radio. Reception is okay on the on the stronger channels, he said. I just knocked off the channel. So yeah, that's the uh, the radio. Uh, we'll just go into the, the DAB. I'll unplug the dash cam. I've just got it connected into a little USB socket on there. So we'll go into the, the DAB just to show you what that is like. So at the 
the moment you can see the, the green bars, we've got about three green bars. I'm not in a good reception area here, I'm a bit out um, away from the major towns so where the reception isn't brilliant. But it's, you know, we're not getting a full, full signal. channels we're not picking anything up at all now so yeah I'm gonna have to find a way around the uh, the DAB side of it and uh, that antenna isn't working uh, brilliant for that um, and let's just see what other stock apps come with it these I've downloaded myself. I use uh, Copilot as my sat nav. Used it for a number of years, and it uh, always seems to work quite well. The GPS connects to the back of the unit, and I've just got it round about there in the dashboard, underneath all this plastic, and it picks up satellites pretty well. It also comes with a Wi-Fi uh, receiver, and that's located in there as well, and. Uh, Seems to work okay. I think I'm connected to the house uh, Wi-Fi network at the moment. You can see it's like half, half signal. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, sat nav that I've got in. Go back to the apps. Uh, so yeah, you can put on what you want from um, Play Store, got Google Maps, of course. As, uh, as expected. And what else have we got? And you've got your Play Store. So uh, get all your all your bits and pieces on on there. Provided so you've got a Wi-Fi connection. I think we have at the moment. Yeah. So. Uh, access to the Play Store. Um, I've also got um, Bluetooth OBD, OBD2 connector uh, just on the bottom of here and that's hooked up to uh, by your Bluetooth so I can press the, the talk app. I've not configured it properly yet. Um, I need to go in and This is just how it came stock. Uh, no ignition on at the moment. Let's turn the ignition on. And we'll take a look at the, uh, uh, the dials working. So you can see the, uh, the revs going up and down. Coolant temperature, boost, throttle, and whatever else you want on it. Somebody was asking me if it um, read the uh, emissions details from the catalytic converter. Um, it does seem to do that. On that screen there. So that's, uh, that's torque. That came pre-installed. Uh, another app that's pre-installed is this vehicle one. Don't seem to be able to configure that for uh, any more information than what's on the screen at the moment, but that gives you your revs, speed, if it's done in kilometres an hour, you might be able to change that to miles per hour if you wanted, uh, your total distance travelled, outside temperature, battery voltage, seat belts, oil, brakes, uh, windscreen fluid, if you had one it would do the trunk. And also tells you what doors are open, so we'll just open the driver's door. So it's just illuminated red. When I first got it, that was back to front, so I had to go into the settings and, and change that. Uh, so yeah. Right. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, phone. You press Bluetooth, uh, and it will sync your contacts from um, your phone, so you can dial up in contacts 
It will also uh, play the music from your phone using that button there, but I haven't got any music on my phone. Uh, what else have we got? Music. You've got an SD card in there. Um, not sure what size it goes up to. I thought I read 32 gigs, but I've seen some people say it does uh, possibly 64 or maybe even 128, but I'm not 100% not sure on that. But yeah, even 32 gigs, you can get a fair bit of music on there. That's the music app. What else have we got? There's a card there for your GPS files. So all your maps and everything should be stored on that. Uh, if you press GPS it takes you to the your designated um, sat nav. You can map that to whatever you want. DVDs, MP3s, uh, whatever you want in there. I don't think I've got anything handy that I could play. Um, I've got music ones, I don't think I've got any video ones just to show you. I might have some video files on, let's see. Uh, into file browser, SD card, movies. Happy movies on there. Maybe in between is here. So yeah, you can play your movies off uh, DVD or uh, off your memory card. Also, um, it works with the buttons on your steering wheel. So. You can adjust the volume, change channels, mute and uh, answer your calls using the buttons on your steering wheel. Uh, I've got a reversing camera on this so I've hooked it up to the reverse lights. So if I put it in reverse, that's the reversing camera and then you have a little overlay there and also the one that tells you how far away things are. Knock that off. Um, I think that's the main features. Uh, so we've done navigation, Bluetooth, music, radio, um, video. So just no, this is another one. <laughs> you need to unlock your inner bear, and the only way that's going to happen is. Of course, you can go into all your normal settings, configure your Wi Fi, Bluetooth, all the different apps, whatever else you need to do as normal in Android. Uh, just quickly nip back to the apps, see if I've missed anything. A few of these I've installed myself. I'll just show you the uh, GPS, see how strong a signal we're getting. All the readings are quite high, and that's just located in here, so it uh, seems quite a good. GPS uh, receiver that it comes with. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, um, it comes with an external microphone uh, for making your calls with. Um, and mine should be figured up, configured so that uh, Google can hear me. So we'll we'll just try that. Uh, okay, Google. Navigate to London. Navigating to London. So that's fired up uh, Google Maps. And, uh, give it a minute to work out the route. There we are. And uh, we're navigating to London. 
did have it, so it was uh, you could make calls with it as well. So uh, I'll just just try it again. Um, okay, Google, call work SBC. Calling work SBC mobile. Well, then it goes as far as that, but it doesn't actually make the call. Uh, but maybe it's the way I've got it set up. So. Doing it. Doing it now. Give it a minute. It doesn't seem to work with um, when you're using Google, so uh, we'll, we'll back out of that. We're we'll back into phone menu. Uh, and we'll do it the old fashioned way like they used to do in the olden days. Do, 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 do. Calling work. It's probably the answer machine. So uh, hi, this is Sample. Uh, so we don't need to talk to work. Uh, so that's that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Installation-wise, it's not too bad on this particular model. It's a Volkswagen Amarok. Remove this tray. Uh, disconnect the battery first because uh, there's four plugs to undo here and if you don't um, disconnect the battery it'll, it'll uh, give you an airbag error reading which you'll need to clear on your dash so disconnect the battery first pull this tray out disconnect the accessory adapter um, then pull these two blanks off two screws under that one same at this side there's another one there that you pull out with two screws under and then you've really got to tug on all this surround here there's about six clips dotted around that uh, it's fairly well located and you feel like you're going to break it so uh, be careful and give it a good tug and this whole surround should come out that leaves with your four screws to the side to that side undo those four and then you can remove your old unit use the provided harness and uh, hook everything up uh, like i say i've got to take mine out again and uh, redo the the aerial and i also didn't attach the video in because uh, for me it might be useful to uh, use the auxiliary video in for the DVR side of things. Um, oh yeah, you can also, uh, I think it does AV out, so you can put a couple of monitors on the back of the headrests in the back um, and play your DVDs to the kids in the back of the car as well. Um, yeah, that's just the, uh, the quick settings. of any interest on there really. Um, and you've got an amplifier so you can adjust all the all the different uh, configurations you want. I've got mine just set up flat at the moment. You can have it how you want. Rock, pop, jazz, classic, all flat. And then you've got your fader. 
usual front, back, left, right. And that is that. Um, yeah, so uh, any questions, uh, give me a shout.